Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do some more upgrades, make some berry juice, and go looking for uh, at least one diamond, and if not more. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's get started here. So I'm going to eat, and I'm going to drink. Okay, so first things first, I went out. And gathered um, a bunch of salvage because I because I actually can't mine iron yet. Iron is is too hard for the makeshift pick. Um, so I had to had to do quite a bit more salvage in order to get a couple of iron nuggets in order to make the uh, the water tank. So let's let's work on that first. Actually, no. Before we do that, we are going to do some consolidation. So if you guys didn't know this in experimental, when you loot stuff or sorry when you salvage stuff. Um, usually not in every case, but usually what happens is you get broken pieces. Like this is broken wire. And what you have to do is you have to take and combine two pieces of broken wire to make a normal, uh, piece of wire. Uh, likewise with circuit boards and likewise with rubber. Now, sometimes you actually get whole rubber, but most of the time you're going to get scrap rubber, right? So we're going to take the scrap there, um, out of here. We need to do this anyways, so that we can, um, uh, wait. Yeah. So that we can consolidate, but we have to do this in order to make the actual items, uh, for, for building. Okay. So we're going to take, um, the hoses. Now these, we create, uh, like little LCD screens, but it requires more than just combining these together. So those we're going to leave in there for now. Those are all water tanks. Uh, we got some more, uh, scrap rubber there that we're going to grab. And we're going to grab this glass and this, I don't think will fit in there because I think we have a full stack in that other one. Uh, let's grab this leather out of here too. And I actually want to put, uh, one of these guys had an extra nugget in there that wasn't supposed to be in there here. Let's put this down here with the oars. I'm not really organized per se, but. There's a, a little tiny bit of method to my madness here. Oh, okay, so those are extra ores there here. I wanted to put the leather in here. So we got 39 leather. more Probably more than we'll need for the whole rest of this playthrough. <laughs> um, so, okay, is there anything else that we want to combine? You, you use these, of course, to make barrels, but you need more than just that. You need other stuff, too. So we're only going to do the stuff that we can combine directly. And that'll consolidate space and make stuff that we need. Okay, so let's go over to here. And is there any... I don't think... I mean, I've been consolidating cloth in here. But, yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, a couple other things too, real quick. Um, I made the makeshift screwdriver um, right here. And I made the axe. They both... Well, the axe is terrible. It absolutely sucks. Uh, it sucks because it's slower than the makeshift pick and the durability wears out really fast. I mean, like, <clears throat> unbelievably fast. So I, I threw it away. It's a piece of shit. Um, the makeshift screwdriver, I saw no difference between this and the, the just the little welder tool that we have. So I ended up tossing that, too, because I just don't need to take up space with it. It wasn't any better. It, it was about the same, basically. So I suppose if you lost one of these, though you can find these in salvage and you had no other choice, you can make one of these, and it seems to be equivalent to the this little guy here for, for salvaging. Uh, which is to say it's still slow as hell. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do in here is we're going to make wire uh, with our broken wire. And then we're going to, oh, to turn these into real circuit boards, I guess we're going to need normal wire for that too. Now, for the rubber and the glass, we do that here in the furnace. Uh, so this is all broken glass. Uh, so we're going to turn that into whole glass, and then we're going to take all this scrap rubber and turn that into whole rubber. We're going to take all the scrap plastic and then turn that into whole plastic. And uh, again, that's going to save us some space, a little bit of consolidation. Oh, and in here, um, these are broken hoses. Oh, okay, so I guess we need more stuff just to make normal hoses. So again, I'm only doing the stuff that only needs itself doubled up, right, in order to um, make 
uh, make the stuff. So we're not we're not even going to do that with the circuit boards right now. So let's just put all that stuff back in there. So that'll get us back a few play, a few spaces, but more importantly, it's going to get us the whole version of these things, which we're going to need for crafting later on. So that's whole glass, whole rubber, whole plastic. And it looks like it's still working on a little bit more glass there. Uh, so let's let that finish up and we'll put um, this rubber back in here. And wait. And we'll put the plastic and the glass and the wire, the good wire, in there. And grab these last few pieces of glass. And they will go there. Okay, cool. So we got the consolidation done and we fixed up the broken stuff into real stuff, which is good. Or to whole stuff is probably a better way to uh, put that. Uh, let's see what is next. Now I want to I want to make the liquid tank next. So we need to make a computer screen and we need dura aluminum. So the dura aluminum I think is going to be here. Yep. So we'll just grab the dura aluminum there. And actually, if we go back into here and we click on this and highlight it, then it shows up on the left our left hand screen. We need to make a computer screen. So to do that, we need a circuit board and a piece of glass and a broken computer screen. So didn't we have an extra broken computer screen in one of these? I could have sworn. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the way that the chest, if you, if you, um, if you get out of one chest too, and then try to open the other one too quickly, you reopen the other chest. It's really just kind of odd, you know, how that works, but that's the way it works. Okay, we're going to need a real circuit board. Um, see what I mean? Stop. Wait. There. Okay, so uh, we just need one of these. Okay, and it unfortunately it switched us back to the other thing. Oh, no. We're, that's because we're making the LCD screen, right? Okay. Oh, and a piece of glass. Okay, so. Uh, over here. There we go. All right. And so now we can make the computer screen. That's going to be like the little LCD readout on the side of the tank. Okay, we got that done. Now let's go back and reset this again. Uh, we need... One hose, two silver something, and two iron. So the iron we put somewhere. Where did I put that iron? Here it is, right here. Now we actually have three. And again, I got this just from salvaging. Okay, what's the silver something something that we need? It's aluminum. So we need two aluminum. And we have a quite a bit of aluminum. So we'll split that since we can get an even two. I believe we can put this glass away, which is actually down here. And the last thing we need is a hose. Okay, so to make a hose, we need a broken hose. We got makeshift patch tape already and one piece of whole rubber. All right, so let's grab this. Here, we'll just grab the whole thing. Um, we need one broken hose and the patch tape. There we go. And we got a, a whole hose. Put the broken ones back in there. And we should now have everything to make our water tank, our liquid tank, which, by the way, is a prerequisite anyways to making the habitat. So there's really a couple of reasons why we're making this. All right, so let's think about this for a second. Um, I'm probably going to make the habitat... Um, right in this area, I'm thinking we've got that little ditch there. I'll put my light on so you guys can see what I'm doing better. We'll probably put the, the laboratory out here-ish. This could be like a parking area. And then we could do the habitat going that way. 
And we just need to make sure, sure there's room for the barracks and the biodome, which were, there should be if we do here. Okay, so based upon that, I think I'm going to put, well, the other thing is, is we want fuel tanks to be where vehicles are going to be parked, um, you know, for filling up later on. And I'd rather set the, the tank down and, and keep it where it's going to be. But, you know, I mean, if we do have to move it later, it's not, not the end of the world either. So, all right. So that being said, let's go ahead and we want to turn, let's turn the tank this way. Um, probably want it more this direction. And this, this little area right here will be where we'll, we'll put our liquid tanks. All right. Beautiful. Now, next order of business is we're going to grab every single water container that we have. Let's get rid of our unwanted bloom. Okay, so if it's a water container, we're going to grab it. I think I have a couple more in one of these other chests, too. What the hell? Why can't I open these? It's not giving me an open thing. Something's weird. I'm logging out. I'll be right back. Okay. We're back, and I still am not getting an open thing on those chests. What in the hell's going on? Even after we logged out. There it is. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think that's the only other place that I had water stored. Okay. So what we're going to do is go over here. Make sure there's no monsters sneaking up behind us. Actually, can we, can we do stand, whoop, stand up here and do it? Yeah. Good. Even better. Okay. Put all of our, let's, well, actually, let's start with our partials first. Okay. And then we're just going to add all of these in here. Okay, so we've emptied everyone out except for this full one, and everything's 82%. Um... You know what? Let's let's just go ahead and empty this one out too. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. Now we've got a whole bunch of empties, uh, empty jars. I've got a full container of them here, plus whatever is currently in our inventory. Let's put you back in here, and the rubber back in here. So, in this chest, I've got uh, two stacks of purple berries and a stack of red berries plus a few more. And then I have a few more purple berries in there, too. So, let's just do a take all. And now we're going to come over to here. And I don't know if these can stay on my inventory, but I want to take them out of my inventory. Anyway, so let's do that first. Put that there, the tape there, and the medical packs there. All right. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to make 13 containers of berry juice. Okay, so berry juice is really good because it will... Um, it gives us... I think it gives us full hydration and half nutrition. I believe. So, well, let's, um, well, here, yeah, we're, we, we're actually doing good on hydration and nutrition for a moment, so we'll, we'll test it out once, you know, that starts to get down. So, we gotta take, keep taking these out because there's only room for three, but look at that, berry juice, man, it's awesome. It's awesome. Makes me want to go get a grape soda or something. Not really, I don't like grape soda, but. <laughs> so, one more. And then the rest of these, you know, can sit in there. So, yeah, what we what we'll do then is let's see. Oh wow, we can even make more 
that was just based upon the jars that I had in my inventory. Um, yeah, why the hell not, right? Let's just make as much as we can because this is some really good stuff. Okay, we can make another five based upon the berries that we currently have. We'll put these empties back in here. This has a tiny bit of water in it. Let's drink it and get rid of it. All right. Now, um, I don't know. Yeah, see my, the F to open thing is gone again. I don't know what's going on with that. Kind of a pain in the neck. All right. Now in here, we have our spare food. So let's put that there and I'll just put the spare berries in here. We got food and we got, you know, some plant fiber and, these insect, alien insect parks you get off of the wasps. I was attacked by some wasps earlier, so I killed those. I'm not sure uh, what we still need the banana leaves for, but I did get a few of them because you can get that stuff if you use the knife on plants. Okay, so we got our berry juice. Delicious. Delicious berry juice. So we're going to put, um, we're going to fill this up, and then we're going to fill this back up. If I could get the damn thing to show me the F key. I don't know what's happening with that. We'll load this up. And then these we'll just take with us. Because it's not um, it's not that heavy. That'll give us four. So between these four things and the meat, uh, we're, we're going to be in really good shape for hydration and for nutrition. So it's good stuff. All right. Excellente. Excellente. Let's do this next. I think what we're going to do now, guys is let's see if we can do our workbench upgrade. I'm not sure if we have everything we need for that or not. So, or the tool station upgrade. So we need bronze wire, 6AL-4V. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Um, and Electrum. Let's start with bronze. Can, what do we need to make bronze? So for bronze, we need copper, tin, and magnesium. I don't know if I have tin. Um, let's look in here. So there's no tin in there. Well, actually, hold on. Do we have, we have brass, gunmetal, mag, magnolium, talonite, zamok, and duralumin. Or, no, dur, duralum, duralumin? Duralumin. Yeah, duralumin. Ah, uh, okay. So, we need, um... We need 10. We don't, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't have any 10. So yeah, we're not going to be able to make that. I'm not even sure where to find 10. I know it's around somewhere uh, because we got some on our uh, on our Saturday live stream when I was doing multiplayer, but I don't I don't remember. I didn't get it. My buddy got it, so I don't remember where he got that from. So, okay, well, we can't do that right now. So, we'll just have to hold off on the workbench upgrade. Um, which kind of sucks because um that's what we we need to get this upgraded in order to make the diamond chisel, from what I understand. Tool station upgrade. Yeah, see, this is the diamond chisel, so it only requires one piece of diamond and a normal chisel. You know what, though? We, we need a forge to make the normal chisel. So let's start looking at that. What is required to make a forge? See, the forge requires brass as well. Oh, I'm sorry, bronze. So the only thing holding us back from this right now is bronze, and bronze requires tin. Because we have copper and magnesium. we got to find tin, you guys. Well, all right, let's start looking around for tin. But we're going to go ahead and go to mine two. Anyway, oh, well, guess what? A storm just started. We're going to go to mine two anyway. Um, and I'm going to show you where to find the diamond in there. And I think the mine, yeah, I think both of the mines have the same stuff in them. So they basically just have lead, cobalt, uh, mercury, and silver. I think that's they, what they have in there for ore. So the tin, whatever, wherever the tin happens to be, uh, we're going to have to, you know, figure that out, look for it. 
So I guess um, I'm just going to wait out this dust storm and when it is over, we'll start making our way to mine two, what used to be called beta mine. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, the storm is over. Let's do um, a save point. And then we're going to head out and go to mine two, which is going to be to the north of here. Um, kind of off that way, yeah. I'm not exactly sure how to find it from here, but we, we'll figure it out. So let's head on out and go take a look for mine two. All right, guys, this uh, alpha refinery place, this is actually the old gamma mine, but it's it's currently disabled here in um, experimental. So, so there's no option uh, to actually go in it, but um, you can, I don't think any of that stuff's salvageable. Uh, you can find um, a dead guy in here, a dead astronaut, who will give you the blue key card, but I don't know if it actually does anything. Um, man, I'm having such a hard time with F, you know, to open stuff. See, it's not even giving me the option to open it. Oh, all right. Wait, I didn't, I don't remember looting this guy. I, I did in the multiplayer, but I don't remember looting him here. It's, it's acting like I've already looted him. Hmm. Does that carry over from, from single or from multiplayer? I don't know. Well, normally this guy gives you the blue key card, but maybe the game thinks I already have it because I did loot it in the multiplayer game. Even though that's a different character altogether, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyway, um, so yeah, so this was where Gamma Mine is. It's now called Alpha Refinery, and um, you can't go in there. So I believe Beta Mine is going to be back off this way. Um... It's just, you know, the stuff has changed so much that it's not super easy to find things all the time. Um, let's stop here. And uh, we our hydration and nutrition is really low. So what we're going to do is we're going to drink one of these. Hydration levels are now satisfied. And that gives us full hydration and... Oh my gosh, yeah, that gave us a lot of nutrition too. More than I thought it would. Uh, and it consumed... Yeah, it consumed about eighty mm, percent of of the jar, but yeah, that's that's really good stuff, really good stuff. So, okay, let's keep moving this way. I'm I want to say that this is the way we need to go. That's cobalt, right? Yeah, this biome was pretty cool looking, but the grass makes things a little bit framey. Here's some molybdenum, um, but again, that's too hard for us to mine right now. So. Um, that's actually the first time I've seen that, so I should probably try and remember. Um, or I could just actually write the coordinates down. <laughs> uh, you know, that, that would work too. I think I'm going to do that. Because, yeah, this is the first time I've actually come across uh, the molybdenum. All right, guys. We are finally here. It took me a little longer to find this than <laughs> than it should have, but... Um, yeah, I just uh, I got totally turned around. But anyway, we found it. I and I and yes, I wrote the coordinates down this time. So uh, my light is also getting really low. So we gotta we gotta do this quickly. So you co basically come into the mine, um, and you gotta keep going for a little ways. You just kind of go straight down through here. And there there's no crates uh, in this. <laughs> excuse me, in this part of the mine. But then you come out into this big room here, and there's usually some skelly pods. And then you go left. And go through here. And here is a crate with a diamond in it. Ooh, it's got some azurium in it, too. Nice. Okay. Uh, but you can't uh, you can't get in through this door here, though. Leave me alone, skelly pods. So that's how you find it in mine too, and it's really actually not that far from the main entrance. This mine itself is huge though, and like mine one, if you go way deep into it, uh, there is another room uh, with a bunch of diamonds in it. But we can't mine that stuff until we make the diamond chisel. Now, I still have not found tin. Uh, I, I was asking my buddy, and he was telling me that 
the tin is the ore that's missing the texture, so it looks pink. And I do remember seeing that um, somewhere before, but I don't remember exactly where it was. So I'm going to have to keep uh, searching around for that location until I can find it. Okay, guys, we finally found tin. Um, so this is it right here. Uh, this actually used to be um, untextured, but uh, they've obviously fixed that. And um, so, yeah, here it is. So coordinates are uh, 0.4 lat and about minus 0.9 longitude. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some tin, and then I'll meet you back at the base, and we'll get started on doing some more upgrades. Okay, guys, we're back at the base, and I have a full stack of uh, tin mined up, plus one more piece. Uh, so, let's see. We needed the tin to make the bronze, I believe it was. So, let's go back to here and look at our upgrade. So, we need bronze, um, this weird thing, and electrum. So, let's go ahead and get the bronze going first. So, we need copper tin and magnesium. Um, do we just need one of each of those for this upgrade? Yeah, one of each. Okay. So let's see, all of our stuff's in here. So we need copper and magnesium, and we already have the tin. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bronze ingot. Very good. Uh, we're also going to need an electrum ingot, so that's a problem. Um, that's a problem because we can't mine... Uh, molybdenum with this pick. It's too hard. Oh, for goodness sakes. Um, here, let's do a repair, by the way, while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because I was over there earlier, and uh, we weren't able to do that. Well... Okay, let's let's switch gears here then. Let's go and take a look at the forge. So bronze is all we actually needed for the forge, and I think we have everything else. So yeah, let's do the forge instead. How's that sound? All right, so let's grab all the stuff. We need one circuit board. There's our one circuit board. We need one brass, and I think we have a brass. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so split that, split that that stuff away uh, let's put this stuff back in here for now okay so we need a fuel cell two sulfur two wire so this is real wire I mean or in other words whole wire okay so a fuel cell okay we got one of those said two sulfur so that's gonna be here all right what's left Starvation warning. um we need five lead one glass and one mercury here we go uh here's the lead and the mercury i'm just gonna grab the whole thing <laughs> and is that everything oh glass 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 yes All right, now, let's see. Where do we want to put this guy up at? Why don't we... I might end up putting a few more chests there before it's all said and done. So I think I'm going to put the, actually put the forge over here for the time being. Well, I want it... I guess right there is, is as good as it's going to get for now. Okay, so... Now... I think the next thing we want to make is the chisel because then uh, this should be hard enough for us to get the molybdenum. Um, so we just need one pipe and one dimalloy. Do we have dimalloy? I don't know. We've got duralumin, but we do not have dimalloy. Okay, so how do we make dimalloy? We need silver and copper that's easy enough 
So let's see, silver here and coppers here. Let's put these guys back in here for now. And we'll make one die alloy. Okay, we got that. Now we also need to make a pipe. So to make a pipe, we need brass and copper. So let's go here, grab some brass. I'm not gonna screw around with, uh, we already have copper. I'm trying to split it up, let's just take full stacks. Too much screwing around, man. And then we, we should be able to use this to get the uh, molybdenum to do our upgrade. And here we go, look at that, look at that. And then we'll just take this chisel, repair it, and turn it into the diamond chisel. Uh, wait a minute, no, we can, no, we can't do that until we upgrade the workbench. That's right. I was going to say, why aren't we doing that right now? But that's why. Um, Now, the wrench, for, I heard that the wrench is actually better than this. So if we could make this nickel chromium thingamadoodle, we might be able to make the wrench now too. Yeah, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can't. We can't get that until we find uh, or, or until we get nickel and carbon. And we can't get carbon especially because that's that's a, a level 10 hardness. OK, gotcha. So I think, um, yeah, the next order of business is to go back to that molybdenum. And fortunately, I actually wrote the coordinates down this time. So I'm not messing around forever trying to find this shit. And um, then we can do our upgrade put that stuff in there of our workbench and once we can do the upgrade of the workbench then we can make the diamond chisel and we will be in business because then we can mine anything in the game and then we're going to go hit those diamonds that are way back in the cave uh okay so i uh, we don't really even really need this at all anymore but i'm not quite ready to throw it out so i'm just going to put it in here this is kind of like an overflow chest at the moment um yeah okay cool man so we got ourselves a a normal chisel you used to start out the game with this but not anymore you got to work your way up to it so very really cool all right you guys well um i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here and uh, so what I'm going to do off camera is go back to where that molybdenum, molybdenum, dunum, dunum, that's such a tongue twister, um, and get some of that so that we can make the stuff that we need to get the uh, upgrade to the workbench, uh, electrum to be precise. Now, this other weird shit, this 6L titanium. Oh, see, yeah, we're going to need titanium for that, too, which we should be able to mine, I think. Oh, my gosh. I hope we can mine that with this. I don't remember how strong Lucky, titanium is. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get that, too. So I'm going to go grab some titanium, assuming I can. If I can't, then that changes things. But if I can, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab the molybdenum and probably some more iron while I'm out and about, too, so we can make this. So we can make this, and that should allow us then to shut up, upgrade this, because we know we can make bronze. That's not a problem, and wire. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.